Hello and good morning everyone, we are now just two days away from the release of the Netflix adaptation of Avatar The Last Airbender, and with that has come some other interesting releases of information and marketing, as well as a few other new clips that have been revealed to the public around both Zuko and Iroh, Aang and Appa. We are going to break all that down here in today's new video. My fellow benders of all four nations, welcome to Uncle Iroh's Tea Shop, The Jasmine Dragon. Find yourself a seat, grab some jasmine tea, and enjoy the video. Like with my recent videos, let's see if we can hit a goal of 250 likes on this one. So I want to start off with the brand new one minute long clip that was released Monday morning of a full on action sequence between Iroh, Zuko, and the Earth Kingdom soldiers that captured Iroh in the Winter Solstice arc in the cartoon. We've seen many images and also little snippets of this scene already in other clips and trailers, but this is now the full extended look as to what looks like the beginning of the fight. Overall, if I had to give two major positives to this fight scene, it would be that the action is shot well from an in-camera perspective. If this is how every fight is shot, then I am going to be very happy. I just can't stand quick cut action and shaky cam. That stuff to me just makes action sequences look terrible. On top of that, the bending itself does not look all that bad from a visual perspective. However, there is one thing I will point out that I think I'm still a little hesitant on with how they are doing this from another filmmaking perspective. It is simply coming down to the fact that you'll notice that there is a use of slow motion here. I also think that while some of the choreography looks decent especially from Zuko, some of it also looks a little clunky, especially from the Earth Kingdom soldiers. Even the slow motion is a little clunky here, and I have to say, I don't know if I'm that big of a fan of the use of slow motion. To be clear, I know that the original cartoon had its moments of slow motion in action, but those were only for like very specific moments. This just feels like a regular battle that doesn't necessarily require it. I went back and watched the original cartoon version of it, and a lot of the moves here in the cartoon version do feel very similar. But again, I'm still a little hesitant on how they are working around the idea of scaling back on the frame rate and the use of slow motion. Maybe this is just me thinking this way, but I'd be curious to see how you all feel about that. So as I was writing up the script for this video yesterday, just a few hours after we got that Zuko and Iroh clip, we got another brand new clip released, this time a little smaller, that shows a scene of Aang asking where his Sky Bison is to Sokka, Katara, and Gran Gran in the Southern Water Tribe. So I'm assuming that this scene implies that in the Netflix version, he doesn't wake up with Appa next to him in the iceberg, and that he comes in later as he reveals himself flying in in this clip as it shows. Another change to it is that he's flying much earlier on than what he did in the cartoon, but that to me is just not that big of a deal and more of a nitpick, I think. Aang also refers to him as a flying bison in the cartoon instead of a sky bison here, but again, that's just another nitpick. They definitely played this one up for comedy given that Sokka is annoyed when he keeps repeating the phrase sky bison, and then when he sees Appa flying in, he does a very very Sokka-like thing and hides behind Katara. Gordon Cormier as Aang is a delight here. I think he's playing up that childish nature of the character very, very well. Appa, of course, as I've said before, looks very good, so this is a pretty neat clip to celebrate three days to go until the season fully drops. The next clip that I want to talk about came out over the weekend, and it is another journal entry clip of Zuko, and this time, he's talking about what it means to bend the elements. There's nothing here that I really want to break down heavily, other than the fact that there are some new scenes of what looks like training with firebending. I think I would want to speak more to this idea about what it actually means for Zuko to be keeping a journal. I've had some conversations with some people about this, and they think that this could be a long-term thing, that down the road in the later seasons, if they adapt book two and book three, they talk about this journal thing that he's doing as if it's meant to eventually help him down the line when he has to help Aang do his thing with firebending and join their group like he did in book three. I'm not saying that that is a confirmed thing in any way, but if any of you think that this new journal entry thing that they are doing with this character could be interesting, I would definitely love to hear why you think that is. The next big piece of news that I want to talk about actually is not something that was officially released, but something I was able to find on Instagram through the profile of Avatarverse. They are one of the bigger Instagram accounts that follow this franchise, and they have been posting some things recently, and one of those things that they posted about was actually the release of the confirmed in-order runtime of each of the eight episodes. As you can see here on the screen, the image showcases each runtime as it looks like the rumors were true that for the most part each episode would be closer to the one hour mark. One thing I definitely will point out with regards to this is that thank god the finale is a long episode because I have been deceived many times before by any reason that a finale should be one of the shorter episodes. Not to name any names of those shows but I have watched some in the past few years that have had a finale that was shorter than most other episodes and I just didn't like that at all. The finale should always be one of your longer episodes so thank god that they are doing that. 
if you do the math and you add it up all together, the full runtime of the whole season comes out to just above 7 hours. For those wondering, in the original cartoon, it was 20 episodes, each 23 minutes long, and it added up to around 7.5 hours, give or take. Given that it seems like they are going to be adapting around 16 of the original 20 episodes, it would make sense that some of the runtime would decrease here. So for those who will be watching this new season, I hope this runtime helps anyone when they are able to plan out how they will watch the show. For me, I'm just going to binge it all in one day, so it's not really that big of a deal. Next thing that I want to talk about also comes from the Avatarverse Instagram account where they posted two images of what look like covers of different versions of the Netflix page that you would see in a different country. One of them shows off our gang fighting against Fire Nation soldiers, another of which is a very in-your-face picture of Avatar Kyoshi, another of which is Sokka riding Appa into battle against the Fire Nation, and then another one of which shows off our Fire Nation characters, but interestingly enough, one of them is of Azula doing none other than bending lightning. This is the first time that we are seeing something like this, and so I think this is a pretty good confirmation that she will in fact be bending lightning at some point down the line. Other pieces of marketing promotions that I want to speak to come from with regards to a couple of days ago where there was a thing around National Cabbage Day where Netflix's avatar did a cool promotion for the show by having the main cast play a game of bowling using cabbages. On top of that, they also released a very cool other piece of marketing around this holiday where you are able to play a retro looking Game Boy game called Cabbage Smash. In this game, on their main Twitter account, you can go to the link and play this handheld Game Boy game where you get to choose one of the four elements and smash the cabbage merchant's cabbages using that element. Just something really cool as a piece of marketing that I honestly have to give a lot of credit to. I think they are killing it right now on the marketing for the most part. Another piece of marketing that came out the other day was centered around a one-minute promo of Serena Williams, of all people, promoting the show through her profession of tennis. Now, at first, I'll be totally honest, I was a little confused as to why she, of all people, was being used for a promo, and then I come to find out that reading through it, that in the original cartoon, she actually voiced a Fire Nation guard in Book 3 that helped Uncle Iroh when he was in prison. She was the guard that gave him the extra bowl of rice and was super kind to him. Again, I did not know this. This is something that was completely new to me that I only found out through this promotion. So if any of you who did not know this before, you now join me in learning something new every single day with something like this. And I also think it's pretty cool that they would bring her back for something like this, especially if she was there for the OG show. Last thing that I want to mention was that IGN yesterday released an announcement that they are kicking off what they are calling the IGN Fan Fest, where the cover story is about the Netflix Avatar show. It seems like there is going to be a live stream of sorts on Friday with a cast, so I'm curious to see what will come from that. I don't think I'll be able to watch it, of course, because I I will be watching the actual show, so hopefully some cool stuff comes from that. They also released a new article along with it that details some information that, quite frankly, is nothing new that we haven't already heard before, but if you all want to go check it out anyway, I'll leave a link to it in the description. Other than that, that's all I wanted to discuss with today's video, everyone. Leave your comments down below with regards to everything that I talked about today and my commentary on it with how you felt. If you did enjoy this video and you liked a lot of the stuff that I did talk about today, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new here and turn on the notification bell for whenever I upload in the future. On your way out of Uncle Iris Tea Shop, be sure to let him know how much you appreciate his jasmine tea and his words of wisdom that come with it. I hope everyone here has a wonderful rest of the day, and I will see you all soon for more Avatar.